Hi there and welcome back to Fallout 3. I'm Baron. Let's read some logs here. Private Entry 1. I brought it up with management today that the men down at the plant aren't taking the new shipment of robots lightly. They fear losing their jobs and I don't blame them. It's my job to make sure morale stays high no matter what happens. It is hard to look each man in the eye and tell them that he has nothing to worry about even though I very well know he'll be unemployed in less than a month. I don't know how long I can continue to lie to these men. Tom McMullen, pl Supply Plant Supervisor. I've managed to delay a rather large shipment of protectrons today. I told management that we've been having problems with the previous batch of robots and are not prepared for another batch anytime soon. This is complete bullshit of course, the robots work perfectly. They outperform our best worker by a factor of 5. The men continue to lose morale day after day. Some blame me but they don't understand that this is completely out of my hands. I'm doing everything I can to help these men keep their jobs. Management made a surprise visit to the plant today. I guess they stopped believing what I've been telling them about the robots not performing to standards. They saw firsthand the speed and efficiency of the robots. Unfortunately, they also called two employees in the act of tearing apart the protector and smashing it with a sledgehammer. I was to blame, of course. The men are starting to believe I'm working closely with the managers and helping them in every way possible to save my own skin. News broke out today over the loudspeakers that everyone needs to vacate the plant by 1 p.m. Due to budget cuts, this plant is shutting down. The men knew at once there was no budget cut. They ultimately decided I was to blame. Having seniority in this section of the plant, as having seniority in this section of the plant. As soon as I heard the news, I grabbed my pistol and made for the exit. I was qu it was quickly barricaded. I turned around and ran into this utility closet and lock the door behind me. I'll stay in here until the men are gone. The men won't leave. They're determined to wait until I come out. Probably going to give me one hell of a beating that I'm sure of. I wish they would understand how hard I worked for them, how I used every opportunity to delay the inevitable. They better get going though. It's almost 1pm. The robots will be here in half an hour. Soon enough management hears of what's happening. I begged them to leave before the robots got here. They laughed and said they'd take care of the robots and it's me they wanted. Then came a familiar rattle of the protectron. That got their attention. I soon heard laughter cursing and screaming down in the hall. I opened the door and stepped outside. A couple of workers burst around the corner screaming for help. A red laser lashed out from down the hall and severed Tim's right arm in two. I panicked and ran back into the closet and shut the door. The man slammed into the door and begged me to open it. I didn't say a word, just sat, and sat stunned, listening to their screams of agony as the robot finished them off one by one. Then silence. I put my ear to the door and listened. I heard the clanking of projector and feet down the hall. I grabbed my pistol and backed away from the door. No way am I opening this door for anyone or anything. Whoever reads this, let it be known that I did everything in my power to keep everyone's job at the plant. And let this be an example of how to replace humans, how not to replace humans with machines. Okay, so I guess that's him here? No, those are the guys outside of the door. That's him here. Where's your gun? Did I take it in the last video? Probably. But at least you had enough cigarettes. I don't know, but the Robotron seems peaceful to me. No, we could sleep here. I don't have to. Oh, a man opener. Uh, what's that? Flame of fuel. What does that do? I have no idea. Oops. Okay, I have an idea.
So, well, 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 we have weapons. We have the Auto X 23 and the Man Opener 21. Which one is better? The condition is somewhat lower. I guess it doesn't make a difference. I can't, I can't, oh, I can repair the Man Opener with the Auto X, but I can't repair the op Auto X with the Man Opener. So then it's clear I take the Man Opener. That's weird though. Oh hi, more dead. Radiation, not funny. Oh hi. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to use a grenade. Oh, that worked. What can I do here? Nothing apparently. Fine, get away. Oh. Okay, it works with grenades. Um, okay. The air is flimmering, that's not a good sign. And we're out here again. Okay. Get it, this door was locked. Now it's unlocked. Oh wait, why didn't I take that? It's not good, I shouldn't overlook those. Surviving in the steel has taught you something about the life in the pit. You will now do extra damage with the signature weapon of the slaves, the auto axe. Yay, we have steel ingots. There's another way that I didn't explore. I'll do that now. Did I loot that? No, why didn't I loot that? Weird. Because I played with the turret. Oh, hold on for a second. <coughs> okay, I'm back. The protectron is still there. And he's friendly. So this time I take the right corridor. Move See along, where please. it takes me to. No, not to spawn. Nothing in here? A few skeletons are in here. Empty. That's blocked. Empty. A flamer. What the fuck happened here? Who killed you? Did you kill them? <laughs> oh, it's a wild man. Shit. You killed them. Give me all that. So we have a Merc Cruiser outfit or Mark Merc Merc Charmer outfit. It doesn't probably doesn't matter. Two flamers now. Ooh, are those steel ingots? Come on, I want the steel ingot. How the fuck am I supposed to get that? Huh? 
Hello? That's annoying. There's one and I can't get it. Oh wait, there was it. Okay, got it. More wild men. Oh, there's a pistol. And another wild man. Very well. We have a Merc veteran outfit. What do we look like? Ooh, with medals to boot. Okay. And weapons, what do we have? Chinese pistol. And that's it. Okay, I guess we made it. Should have explored that way before I went here, but you know, you never know. You gotta oh. be kidding me. Where the fuck did you come from? Human flesh. Keep it. Oh, really? Oh, I saw it off the top of your head. I'm not getting away from here. Can I go now? Um, that's one thing I want to try to... Okay, that cleared the area. Yes, it did. Okay, we can leave. So we have the 10 steel ingots, but I guess we can get more. And now I'm exploring the rest of the steel yard to see what we can get. Could probably activate that protectron it's nothing with ing at the end it's this one I think there are 100 um, activate 1, 2, 3, 4 I think there are 100 steel ingots in the steel yard Uh, but I don't. I don't think I will find all of them. I don't know whether I will find all of them. I will look for them, but but if I overlook a few, that's cool. Keep your hammer. Hi, you don't see me. That's bad. You should pay more attention. I thought I saw something. Power plant requires a key. I don't have a key. Oh yeah.
Really? Where? Who are you? A pit slave. Can we get up here somehow? What is that? That area apparently is blocked. I see you. No, I can't climb that ladder. Hello. Thank you. No, there's nothing to get here. Hmm, I guess I could climb up those what's up what's down here another pit slave and that's where I started the whole affair okay let's climb up those stairs So that apparently is how you get on top of those trains. What else is stealing it? Or two? I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> oh, that's a Robotron. Um, Protectron. Whatever. A robot. That's cool. Harmonica. You played music, yeah? Oh, there's more here, see? Awesome. No! Ah, shit. I wanted to jump back, but I jumped down. But it's cool. We can always climb up again. Mm, let's try something. Maybe there's something in those... Yeah, for instance, there are steel engines in here. Come on. And up again. I don't really know whether there's anything... Yeah, how about you don't jump? Okay, it worked. Yes, who would have thought? What else do we get here? Oh, there's more in there. No. No. You gotta be kidding me, man. It's not that hard. Careful. Can I jump across that? I can. Do I get anything? No. Fine. Wait, there's a monster? Where? Ah, I don't care. Those trucks don't have range attacks. So if he wants to play, he has to come, or come close. 
So, well, there's more to explore here. Gate. Anything we can get here? Yes. How many do I have? Probably, I don't know, 30 or something? No. Yeah, 36. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to jump down. Thank you. Hey, how do I get to those? He has a combat shotgun. Hmm. Can't get to it right now. I guess we have to walk through that gate. Wait, where was it? Here. And continue to the left. Okay, dead end. We could climb up here. Radiation. Butter knife, keep it. Baseball glove. What else do we have? Nothing. Hey, an assault rifle, who are you? A pit raider. Gamma shield armor. No, fuck it. What does the gamma shield armor do? Radiation resistance. Plus 15. Agility minus 1. Maybe I should use it right away. I probably have enough. So we could climb up here if we wanted to. I think the trucks don't light light don't like light. That's where I came from. Okay, before I climb up any ladders I wanna explore the ground floor. Just see what we can get. There are lots of ladders here. How do I get to those? On the other side of the fence. Hmm. 
Maybe we have to jump down from a pipe. Oh hi, where did you come from? Yep. There's another one. Take a look at the map. Abandoned area, supply plant, pit underground. Mm. What do we have here? Oh, I was here already. Did I explore that area yet? Oh, nice. Dang it. It's a labyrinth. A fucking labyrinth. I will never get all a hundred all one hundred of those steel ingots. I'm pretty positive. But at least I get you and your combat shotgun. So bit by bit we're getting back decent equipment, but I'm still missing power armor. I don't think we will get that since there's no brotherhood of steel in here. You're somewhat hurt. Now you're dead. Red Roach meat. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? They're quite agile, I give them that. Leather belt, you gotta be kidding me. But they die easily, at least with the auto axe. Ooh. Hi. Wild man with a lead pipe. No, thank you. Oh, that pistol is in perfect shape already. Okay, so we should head upstairs. I don't think we can do anything more on the ground floor. But there are several stairs leading up. I don't know whether they all lead to the same place. Or not. Uh-huh. Come on, you can jump up here. Can you? You can't do that. No, you can't. That sucks, man. Okay, now you can. Oh, we have to rock around. So there's one way we could follow that here. And there's the other way. I don't know which one is the better. Maybe we have to take both. Of 
see. That leads us to that pipe and we can jump across here. What do we get? Shit! Fuck it, I don't want to fall down. Where are they? Yeah, come up if you want to have fun. Wait, you're telling me there's nothing to get here? Really? Apparently. Maybe I should have jumped to the other side. Ah! Oh. No, that's where I, I found the uh, combat shotgun, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So there's nothing for us to actually do here. Hello? No! Shit. Who's shooting? Is somebody shooting at me here? Yeah, but you're, you're, you don't have a ranged weapon. Okay. Oh, but it's late, so we will take a break here and continue in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!